let's learn how to export layers as SVG files in Illustrator in this super simple tutorial. On my screen here, I have some completed vector artwork. All of this artwork currently is grouped together. So if I wanna export the individual assets of the artwork as separate SVG files, I first need to understand the structure of the artwork. So come to Window, Layers. So here in my Layers panel, I have my top layer. If I expand that, I have a group. Within that group, I have the dog and I have the background. From there, this goes further. So if I expand the dog layer, I now have three separate groups, the head, the body, and the shadow. And again, we can go even further than this. So for example, within the head, if I expand that, there's a series of other groups that correspond to individual elements within the head. So if I wanna export individual elements as SVG files, I need to use something called the Asset Export option. If you can't find it, come to Window, Asset Export. First, I need to add assets to this panel. So come back to Layers. I can select any layer or group in this panel, press this button here, and that will send that asset to the Asset Export panel. So for example, if I select the Cute Kishu Dog group, press the button, it will now add the dog group to the assets panel without the background. Command Z to go back. If I come into the layers and I expand the Cute Kishu Dog group, select head, hold shift, and click shadow. I've now selected the head group, the body group, and the shadow group. Click asset export. You can see now it's added the head, the body, and the shadow. Command Z to go back. I can go even deeper than this. So for example, if I expand the head group, select the top group, scroll down, hold shift, click the bottom group to select all these groups, press asset export, and now you can see it has added all those individual elements within the head to the asset export panel. If I don't name these groups or layers beforehand, Illustrator will assign it a default name of asset and a number. So it's a good idea to name all groups and layers before you do this. So if I come back to layers, I've done the head, I can now go into the body, I could select all these groups. Again, click, hold shift, click the bottom to select all within that group, click through, and there we go, I've added more assets. And I can continue doing this until I'm happy that I've selected everything that I want to export within the layers panel. A word of note, you cannot select all the groups together. The groups need to be at the same level. So for example, I can't select these groups within the body group and also select the body. As you can see, it won't let me do that. But what I can do is export these groups into the asset export panel. And then I can also export the body group as an asset on top of that if I wish to do so. Once you've added all your assets, come to your asset export panel. And from there, click this button at the bottom next to the export option. So this takes me to the export for screens panel. So what I can do is select all assets, select a destination folder to export to. I'm gonna select images folder, press choose. I can decide to open the location after export if I wish, and I can also create subfolders. I'm not scaling these SVGs up, so I'm gonna leave the scale off, and I'm gonna make sure my format is set to SVG. I can also add a suffix. So for example, each SVG will be given a name. So asset 33, asset 34, and I can add a suffix. So for example, I could say underscore dog. This would be called asset 33 underscore dog dot SVG, and so on and so forth. I can also do the same with the prefix. So with all my assets selected and I'm happy, I can simply click export asset. So now if I come to my destination folder, there's my SCVG folder, and there you can see all the assets that I added to the asset export panel have now been exported as individual SVGs with the suffix added and the name of the group or the asset. So there you have it. There's a very simple way to export all layers and groups from an Illustrator file as SVG files, and you don't even have to worry about converting all the groups and individual assets into layers. You can simply drop them into the asset export panel and work with what you've got from there. So I really hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, keep on designing, and I will see you for the next tutorial.